today's tutorial, I think I've got a solution for you. Due to the global problem, many of us have seen events having to be downsized. Now you may be thinking that you don't want to order a large cake or dessert only to see it get wasted. So I've come up with an alternative, these delicious mini cakes that can be used for any occasion. They are great bite-sized cakes that can be shared between one to two people. And I've come up with not one design, but three designs that I want to share with you today. So, sound good? Let's get started. As always, I'll also leave links in the description box explaining everything that I've used. I baked my perfect chocolate cake and cut out all the sizes I would need to do the three designs. I piped a double dam of white chocolate ganache to make sure all of the raspberry jam stayed inside. Pipe some more whipped white chocolate ganache over the raspberry jam just to cover it up and just to make sure it's all sealed in. Use the white chocolate ganache to do a crumb coat. Now a crumb coat is actually really important since it ensures all the crumbs are trapped in before you do your final layer. Repeat the process of filling and adding crumb coats to all the other cakes. When you take the cake from the fridge, it will be firm to the touch. Now this is when it's ready to have the final layer. Add a generous layer of ganache to the top and the sides of the cake and smooth out. Use a bench scraper or palette knife to smooth the sides of the cake. Now you don't need to go crazy to make it really smooth because we're going to add textured detail, but just ensure that the surface is smooth enough to add the textured detail onto. Now to make the diagonal lines, I used a piece of card cut to a 45 degree angle. Press that into the cake just to give a starting mark. Use a small palette knife or the handle of a small teaspoon to make the diagonal lines from left to right. Now don't overthink this again because it's meant to be a textured cake and the most important thing in this is that you have fun while you're doing it. Go ahead and repeat the process of adding the final layer of ganache and also adding the diagonal lines to all of the other cakes. Now on the second cake, I actually decided that I didn't want the diagonals to go in the same direction. So I decided to do the diagonals in the opposite direction. When you take the skewer from the top tier cake, don't forget to actually fill in that hole on the top. 
Use a small plate or a cake card to assemble your cake together. Place a small amount of ganache into the centre of the plate or cake card. Place the bottom tier onto the plate or cake card, then your second tier and then the final tier. To add some additional detail to this cake, I decided to use some edible lust dust by Sugar Flare in antique gold mixed with some lemon extract. Now you can also use some vodka as well um, to mix the luster dust. Now I thought this cake would actually be quite nice for the flour so I took some additional white ganache and mixed it together with some pink. Now the pink that I'm actually using is also by Sugar Flare and it's a skin tone colour and mixed that together to make this really lovely pink and then piped a flour. I decided the flower needed some leaves so I mixed up some green using Amory Colour Leaf Green, Amory Colour in Brown and also Sugar Flares Colour in Eucalyptus to mix up a realistic green colour for the leaves. Add a small amount of ganache and then place your flour onto the cake. Pipe the leaves onto the cake to fill in any gaps around the flour. For cake design number two, I prepared the cakes exactly the same as cake design number one. However, on cake design number two, I decided I actually wanted the edges to be much smoother. So I took a small palette knife, you could probably also take the handle of a spoon as well, into some hot water just to clean up the top edges of the top of the cake. For cake design number two, I decided I wanted a watercolour effect to the sides of the cake. So using the same pink that I coloured up previously, I just added the pink on in random places and also just a blob of cream just to kind of give a mixed effect. Now I wanted to have some fun with this cake, so I decided to actually do a splatter effect using a clean toothbrush. Now make sure you only have this toothbrush for cake decorating only or food purposes only if this is what you're going to do. Using an open star piping nozzle, I added some pink colour, so the same pink colour that I used before, to one side of the piping bag and the rest I left uncoloured just to pipe these rosettes. Now when you're piping these rosettes, start from the centre and then pipe your way outwards. So as before, to assemble the cake together, I piped a small amount of ganache onto a small plate, placed the bottom tier, then placed the top tier. Make sure that you fill the hole in from the top tier because you don't want to see that. Now I thought this would look pretty with some gold ribbon around each cake. Now you, you can choose to design and decorate your cake however you want to. 
Now unfortunately my camera was not running when I added the rosettes to the front of the cake um, but I took the rosettes from the fridge and I added them in a diagonal design going up the front of the cake um, and then also piped in the leaves as well. For the final design, cake design number three, I decided to fill it with chocolate ganache buttercream and raspberry jam. And I literally just did exactly the same process as with all of the other cakes. So fill, crumb coat your cakes and then cover your cakes. I moved the cake over onto a cake card so it was easy for me to hold while I decorated the cake. These are edible sprinkles, they're not from any particular brand, I just pulled this selection together myself. Place a plate or a tray underneath and then add the sprinkles to the bottom edge of the side of the cake. I used the same open star piping nozzle and pipe some rosettes to the top of the cake. And there you have it. Three simple and easy designs that can be used for either a birthday an anniversary or a wedding. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'd love to hear from you. So if you'd share what other tutorials you'd like me to do, just share below in the comments. Also, I'd love to hear and see whether or not you've created anything that I've actually shared in tutorials already. You can share this on hashtag Arise Cake Creations on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell. I do new tutorials weekly, so if you hit that notification bell, you will be notified when any new tutorials come out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.